Hey there guys, uh, sorry it took me a little bit to uh, get this video done here, uh, had uh, had lots to do the past couple days, uh, gotta love the work schedule, anyways, um, what I wanted to do is a video here, which I know probably a lot of people have already done, all, you know, already on this laptop, but I wanted to do one of my own, simply because I haven't done one on this particular uh, line of laptops. Um, here I have a IBM ThinkPad 600E. Um, I acquired this laptop actually for free. Um, it uh, was you know given to me by a uh, uh, random person. Um, believe it or not, um, it's in great condition for being a um, sixteen-year-old machine. Um, this particular one has the, a production date on it of uh, 1099. Um, it's actually one of the uh, it is actually one of the la last one of the last Pentium era machine or Pentium 2 era machines. Um, you know, uh, the Pentium 2 had its last final run, I believe, in 2000, 2001, before they scrapped the processor, at least production-wise. Um, I mean, I liked the Pentium 2 processor. Um, you know, I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of good experiences with the with that processor. I actually love, I'm very partial to the Pentium 2 processor. Um, I was looking for a Pentium 2 machine um, because I just wanted to have one. Um, growing up, that's what I had. That's what I had to, you know, play all my games. It's my childhood, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, but these machines are, are, are getting hard to find. The pen, uh, the Pentium 2 machines are just, you know, a lot of people get them and they hang on to them. Um, or they buy them for nostalgia reasons or they just never get rid of them. Uh, the Pentium 2 processor is a very long lasting processor. Uh, you know, um, A lot of people, you know, don't really, if they just do basic stuff, um, or do basic, you know, programs for Windows XP, don't really need much more than this. Um, but anyways, uh, I was actually surprised when I got this machine on um, how well taken care of it was. Uh, there are no imperfections in the case. Um, as you can see... It is very well intact. Uh, screen is a little bit dirty, um, but that's because I myself am readily using it. Um, I do use it regularly to, you know, uh, play some of my older games that I cannot play on Windows 7 or Windows, you know, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. Um, you know, compatibility, they don't, when they make the newer operating systems now, you know, they don't really take into consideration on a lot of consumers that like to use their older programs with their new machines. Um, a lot of people who like to play older games with their machines. Um, if 
you buy a new machine with a newer operating system, a lot of times you lose compatibility with your older stuff. So, which is why I really wanted to find me another Pentium 2 machine. Um, this particular one shipped with Windows 98 second edition when it came out. Um, now it does not have that. It has Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3. Um, it runs it. It actually runs it surprisingly well. Um, most Pentium 2 based processors did run Windows XP well. Um, Windows XP came out during the end of the Pentium 2's life. Um, so there wasn't a lot of testing for Windows XP done on the Pentium 2 processor, but um, there was, um, I guess, enough of a uh, uh, call for Pentium 2 machines to come out being put out wholesale with Windows XP on them coming from the factory. Um, but, you know, again, that was towards the end of the Pentium 2 processor's lifespan. So, the Pentium, or Windows XP was based mainly on the Pentium 3 processor um, and the early Pentium 4s. Um, it ran very well with a, it actually ran very well with a Pentium 3 processor. It ran okay with the Pentium 4, um, but it actually ran better with a Pentium 3 as it was based on that processor. It was based to, it was based for performance on that processor. Um, but anyways, uh, back to this laptop here. Um, as you can see, it comes standard with 24x CD-ROM, hard drive caddy in the front. Of course, back then, IBM was known for putting the speakers in the palm rest. Um, I would say the only one of the only drawbacks to this design was the speakers in the palm rest. Uh, you know, if you are doing any type of, you know, what little bit of gaming you, you, you would have done back then on this laptop, if you did anything gaming like that on this laptop, which most of the ThinkPads were not, you know, were more of a industry laptop, not a consumer laptop, but they did have a consumer use, um, this would have been a drawback, having the speakers right here. Um, of course, we have side lock for the to open your display. Um, expansion port for external floppy CD-ROM and such. Uh, speaker input, audio input, infrared. Two PCMIA version two slots. I believe this just had version 2, but it might also have one version 2 and a version 3. Um, IBM was known for having both on there. Uh, on the back, we have your PS2 mouse port, your one flap comes down, uh, VGA, SVGA, serial printer port, expansion port for docking station, then we have our I.O., our serial I.O. port, our 16 volt single pin uh, power port, and the only tab missing on this laptop, one of the only tabs missing for the USB 1.1. After so many years, I guess it finally decided to break off. And I, the little tiny reset button that goes right here is missing. Um, unfortunately, if it does lock up, what you have to do is 
use a little pin and push that little reset button. Um, power button on the side here, 56k modem, uh, and of course side latch, Kensington lock. Um, it's pretty much every option that it has on there available. This did not, this particular model, the 600E, the, the 600, the 600E, I believe some of the 600Xs actually came with a uh, 10100 network adapter in it, but this particular model does not, um, and it does not have wireless. Um, although with the PCMA, PCMIA ports, you can buy uh, a card for wireless, which links us was more was most common for that and 3com uh, ethernet card um, some had the dongle some had the little push out uh, option where you just it pushed out and you connected the ethernet cord cable um, but as you, as you as you can see you know the cases the little rubber or the rubber ru rubberized um, film that they put on these laptops it's you know coming off of course you can see it's a little bit scratched up um, the bottoms a little bit is a little worn but surprisingly in very in actually good shape for its age, um, you know, uh, I'm actually surprised for a 16-year-old laptop. It's it's in relatively good shape. Um, it's actually the best one I've come across so far, um, and I've come across a few of these, but they weren't what I wanted. Um, they were, you know, Pentium. They were the just the 600. They weren't the 600e. And I wanted a Pentium 2 based one based model. So why don't we go ahead and start her up here? Um, one thing I wanted to mention though is a lot of these 600Es um, they did not come with PC100. Um, they came with the, at that time, uh, PC-66. Um, it, it, oh, a lot of the PC-66 machines would accept PC-100, but the 600, the IBM 600, 600Es, and 600Xs are known for being real finicky on what they will do and what you know um, how much RAM they will use and how much they won't um, a lot of people have been known to get these machines up to 425 megs of RAM being as it already has 32 or well this particular one has 32 on board memory um, the 600X has 64, and the 600 has 16. Um, but some people have been known to get these up to 425 megs of RAM. Um, and that's using PC100. Um, unfortunately, with this one, even running uh, PC100... Actually, right now, this is running a combination of PC100 and PC66. Um, the max that I have been able to get this machine to go to is uh, 224 megs, you know, and be stable. Uh, I had, um, it came with... Uh, 288 megs of RAM when I had it, when I first got it, of PC66, 
but it was very unstable. Um, both chips are good. Both chips were good. Um, I'm still running one of the 128 meg chips in here. Um, but for some reason, this machine just cannot safely and stable and you know run over 224 megs of RAM and you know be stable um, that's just how finicky these 600 E's are uh, you know it's one dr that's another drawback to, to this particular uh, model but what we have here is of course you know I'm a big Warcraft 2 guy um, what we have here is a Pentium 2 400 well 3, 397 megahertz basically 400 megahertz running 224 megs of RAM um, I have upgraded the hard drive to a 60 gig drive from the original um, 10 gig drive that it had um, and I'm pretty sure that's not a not was not the original, but some of these were known to having 10 gig drives um, from the manufacturer. Some had seven or you know six or six gig drives. Some had 15 gig, or you know 15 gig drives. Um, 15 yes, they actually made a 15 gig drive. It. Um, they're not common, but they do have them. Uh, and it actually runs, it runs games pretty good. Um, you know, it does not, uh, it really is a decent running machine. Um, I have no complaints out of it. I do like the, uh, uh, Eraser uh, point mouse. Um, I'm a big fan of this particular mouse. Um, I like it because they very rarely go out. The touchpad is such a um, unreliable uh, form of interface. I do not like it. I like the um, eraser head or the cat's tongue or whichever one you want to refer it to. Um, very good uh, interface of four mouse. Um, and I, I, as you can see, this system runs very well. It doesn't it doesn't uh, slow up. It is very fast. Um, switching between um, you know, it's just a very good system. Um, very surprised in its uh, speed, how fast it actually is, um, and its condition. Uh, very good machine. Um, it's sad that IBM got bought out by L Lenovo because this was the king, the ThinkPad of the 90s and early 2000s pre-2001 or 2002 when they were bought out these were the crown jewels of the laptop industry they were the king um, even to this day these are treasured laptops um, if you have one you hang on to it because you know these can take a beating just like a uh, a Panasonic Toughbook can. That's another great brand of laptops. Um, in fact, I'm trying to get my hands on one of those at, uh, right, right now as well. Um, but, um, very good laptop. If you have one of these, I would say you have a gem. Um, do not let go of it. Uh, you know, and you see how 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 great Windows XP actually functions 
and runs on this on this uh, Pentium 2 processor. Uh, it's just it runs smooth. Um, I have a Pentium 4 machine that is running Windows XP, and unfork and it does not run it. It does not run it even half as smoothly as this Pentium 2 machine does, and it has more RAM. You know, of course, it's got two gigahertz more power. Um, you know, 3D accelerated. Uh, it's running a uh, a uh, 4550 HD one gig video card. I mean, it, it does not run it as smoothly as this machine does. Um, you know, Windows XP just seems to run better on Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 based machines. Uh, but, anyways, um, I would suggest if you have one of these laptops, if you, even if it is not working, you know, or if there is a problem with it, I would suggest fixing it up. It would be a great laptop to have as a backup computer, or just to have something to, you know, have around the house for a good starter computer for your niece, nephew, or your your kids. Um, really great machine. Um, that's about it for this for this uh, one here. Um, please feel free to leave any comments down below. Um, and um, if uh, I've left anything out, please comment and let me know. Um, and I will post more videos as soon as I can.